Hey, Henry. Henry, you're on video. <gasps> hey, are we going for a walk? We're going for a walk. Oh, he's so happy. He loves to go for a walk. And this one, this is actually special <laughs> because this is where I used to live when I was a kid. It's changed. Um, it used to be a trailer park. And uh, <clears throat> this little hill right here, <laughs> that is the remnants of a mound that was here. And there was a trailer in this section-ish area. Um, you can see it's grown quite a bit over the last like 20 plus years. Um, but over here, over here is where I used to live. <laughs> and uh, I can show you exactly. Oh, he's going to the bathroom, so I won't show that. <laughs> here he comes. Here he comes. Woo! Okay. So... I used to play out back over here. <laughs> um, if you go far enough over, in this area somewhere is a, uh, like an old, uh, I, I, I don't want to say well, because wells seem to be like low to the ground. This is a big circular thing, cement thing, and uh, it's above ground. And I saw it here the other day, but I'm not exactly sure where it is because this isn't exactly how it was set up. The road has been changed. Oh, sorry, he's going to the bathroom. Don't wanna get that. Um, but I used to live over here. So, this here was our front lawn. This tree was at, there was, um, there was a, a ramp and with a, with a um, porch deck. And this area, this open area right here, is where the actual trailer was. This is where it used to be. And uh, right here, this part that goes that way, that was a road. It was a dead end, but there was one more trailer over here. Um, but this is where I used to live. And let's see, I believe it's this tree on the very end, if I remember correctly, let's see, yes, this, this tree, let's see, that tree was planted when I was a baby. <laughs> it's a lot taller than me. <laughs> um, yeah, but I just wanted to show you that because I was taking him for a walk, slash run, slash bathroom break, and, uh, you know, I thought, why not? Why not? I used to, oh my God, I, I loved living here. And sometimes when I dream, I dream about this place, you know, what it used to look like, not how it is now, but for sure, my memories. And this over here, that's an antique shop there. And I used to take my bike <laughs> and I would come down this road <laughs> you know, before I had back problems. And you can see that they've like dug it out a lot. There used to be like tall things that grew there. I don't know what they're called exactly, but they kind of look like corn dogs. Whatever that is, they used to grow all along here. And I used to take my bike. And they, they dug this a lot deeper, but I used to take my bike and ride it across. It wasn't so soft. It was a lot harder, but yeah, so this is this is when I was the most happy as a child. This is where it was. <coughs> Excuse me. And I am glad that we are invoked with memories of things because when places change, sometimes it's hard to see it go, but it still remains in my memories of how it used to be. And how much fun I had here. So yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> I really miss living here. I really do. I really do. So uh, yeah, I have to turn this because I had it facing forward. Hopefully it's getting me. So <laughs> I went to counseling today. 
and I talked with my counselor and at first what she was saying to me um, about certain things, certain aspects, I just, I kind of, I got to a point where I couldn't talk about it anymore because it was just upsetting me. And she did give me some things to think about, you know, like what is important to me moving forward with therapy and what I can get out of the group. But she said, you know, think about it because if you think it's not going to be a healthy situation, oops, sorry, stepping through snow, ah, if it's not going to be a healthy situation for me, then maybe I shouldn't go to the group. But if I can figure out how to work through my issues with this situation and find a way so I can go to the group and actually get the help that I need, then that's probably what I should do. I just, I really don't like when people yell at me for no reason, especially when I'm not even talking to them. So that just, it just ups, like I told her, I was disappointed. I felt disrespected. And it's hard for me to let things go. I don't, I don't know how to do that. So, you know, that's why I'm here because a lot of my issues right now regarding this type of thing that I'm doing is DBT related because it's to deal with borderline personality disorder, which I have, <laughs> if any of you have forgotten. I know I talk a lot about bipolar, but I do have borderline personality disorder. Not ashamed of it. It makes me kind of crazy sometimes, but I don't mean that in a negative way. I just meant it, it can be overwhelming, you know. It can, it can create emotions and it's, it's not fun <laughs> at all. So I think that's part of my problem <laughs> is I'm stubborn. And uh, when you have a personality disorder and you're kind of been guarding yourself for so long it's hard to open that door again you know but that's why I'm here I'm here to get counseling to get you know the lessons out of the group to help make better decisions help regulate my irregulate regulate I'm already irregular <laughs> I'm in irregularity um to help me regulate my emotions. So if a situation like this comes up again, I will hopefully have the um, skills to deal with it. <laughs> so yeah, I am gonna go to group next week and just see how it goes. And I'm just gonna make sure that I excuse me, you know, not sit next to the person and just, you know, keep to myself and just do what I got to do and just focus on what I got to do and just see how that goes. So in the, in the session, I kind of wasn't hearing it. And that's part of the, my self-defense mechanism. Even if somebody agrees with me, a lot of it is people being allowed to get away with things and there's no consequence and it always seems to me I could be wrong that in that kind of situation <clears throat> um sorry I'm just checking on him oh what was I saying <laughs> I don't remember um when I talk about things I don't like that bring up emotion sometimes my brain oh yeah, um, defense mechanisms. So sometimes my brain will be like, nope, no, nope, no. <laughs> it will take in the information, but it won't allow me to absorb it unless I actively choose to, if that makes any sense to anybody. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at with the DBT. Thing, and I do want to get past this. It's not that I don't. I just, 
I guess I have to work through my emotions about the whole thing. And she said we could do that. So <laughs> I get, I'm going to say the session went well. You know, we didn't just talk about that, but that was the last topic we talked about. Um, well, major topic anyway. Ooh, the train. Can you hear the train? Toot, toot. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go now because I'm going to finish walking him. And I hope you all are doing well. I love you. Please take care of yourselves and one another. And I will see you soon. All right, Henry, say bye. Henry, say bye-bye. Henry, Henry, say bye. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> bye, guys.